back out. At last, been ages. Been about um, three weeks maybe since I was lost out. Did that solo camp in the valley, which I really enjoyed. And today we are going down Path of Destiny. It's lovely, uh, lovely weather, but the wind, it's dead windy, just for a change. We're hoping we're gonna get out of the wind. We're going on the east coast. The wind is coming from the west though. So we'll have to try and get the wind behind us for a shelter. <clears throat> so I moved house. <coughs> Excuse me. Had COVID last week, otherwise I would have been out. But I got bloody COVID. I've, I've had me 12 days incubation period. So I did a negative test the other day. So I wasn't even ill. I had one day on the Monday when I felt really bad. This felt awful, like flu, really bad flu, like shakes. If, oh, that was awful. But on Tuesday, I was all right. Wednesday, felt a lot better. Thursday, I was out on my bike. The, Leanne was ill. All, all nine days, she was probably ill. But I was fine. So she hates us for that. Um, but yeah, when I moved house, put all my stuff in boxes, all the rest of it, and because it's a smaller house, everything's all over the place, so I'm bound to have forgot something today. It's definitely gonna be something I forgot, be in a box somewhere. I think I'm all right, like, done a little checklist. And the other thing I discovered was, I've got so much crap. Has anybody else got loads of, loads of rubbish? If I didn't have a garage on this new house, I'd be knackered, I wouldn't be able to move. I'd have to either throw all my stuff away, or just not move. It's unbelievable how much rubbish you accumulate over the years. Anyway, that being said, we're out. It's June the 18th. Lovely blue sky, nice sunny, but the wind. So, like I said, we're gonna have to find a sheltered spot. And we'll see what tent we've got later on. We've got a new tent. It's Leanne's tent. But if it's any good, I might be getting one. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Come back a bit further down. Look at all this. This is called... This is called Gunera. It's not rhubarb. These grow massive. These grow like 20 foot high, these. Straight on. Should have sent her down there, shouldn't I? Sent her down there on the road to death. needs mountains. Wind. Come up them cliffs there.
it's windy as hell. It's just been, we've walked the whole length of the, uh, the coastline from the car park, well, not the car park, we're part of the side of the road, all the way past the lighthouse down here. We've ended up here in this. <laughs> Oh, it's so windy though, it's just mad, can't get out of it. We thought we were being sheltered here, but no, nah. it's just as bad. Oh. Got it up anyway. I've lost my glasses. Oh, that's the backdrop. Here we are, the tea's on. The chili burger, beef burger, Aberdeen Angus there. We've got some cheese for one, not for the other. Can of beer. You having the best time ever? Yeah. Isn't it mint? There's tent. There's tents holding up, you know, considering it's blowing a bloody gale like. So inside, We've got, this is the Sea to Summit, what they call it, see, it's a grey one. I've got the Thermo Rest again, I've got the Ascent 700, which is nice. And Leon's got the, uh, this is the Mountain Equipment Helium Quilt, which I was thinking about getting because it packs away to nothing. But we're going to see how it performs tonight because it, it is chilly. It's got an OEX Evolution bag, which again is very small packing. But we've got burger buns. Yeah, we're all set. Let's get these cooked. The wind's not helping at all. Like the tide's just up, high tide now, so it hopefully changes. When, uh, when the tide starts going out, the wind should change direction, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, it's alright, it's solid enough. We'll see if we're saying that in the morning, eh? Look at the, look at the backdrop, man. Pretty well out the sun as well, because it's cold out the sun. We'll have a wander down there later on. We'll have a wander down by the sea, have a look, see if there's any creatures. Right, so, here we go. There's the burger. Oh, got a bit of uh, garlic mayo in. Lovely, and then we've got two more in there. How's your burger? Nice. Did mm -hmm. we get this in? Ready? Mmm, lovely. Ah, oh. it's a little bit hot. It's all right though. The wind keeps coming and going. It's mad. So there's no wind at the minute. It just all of a sudden comes wild off the sea. Yeah, a few clouds about. No threatening though. I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be for a dry night. So I've got me random, me random beer. There's this one, Beaver Town Space Hulk. It's just an IPA, six percent. I've never had that one before. It sounds mad, Space Hulk. So that's me random beer. I'll try that. I'll try that later. I might have that next actually. But for now, I'm gonna have these. Let's get them on. We'll definitely be wanting another one after this. Nice, aren't they? Mm. Mm. Tasty. That's a tasty burger. Big Kahuna burger. Uh, Pulled fiction. No idea. God. So much she doesn't know. Oh, <laughs> well, the sea's not really swimmable here. Monkey like. It's down on the jetty. Oh, the wind, the wind is still blowing a gale. Woo! 
Going out. Going out now. Stop there. Oh look, look at all the jellyfish. Look at them all. Oh, you're not swimming in that, are you? Yeah, like. Watching, if you've been watching Spring Watch, I've been telling you about all the seabirds washing up on the coast. They've all got the avian flu, avian flu, isn't it? They've all got this disease. So basically, the birds have got bloody COVID. Ah, that one there, that one's suffering like, oh, I don't know what to do. It's so sad. It's just so sad. Maybe it's not, but I think it is. Also, tragic, like. And on Spring Watch, they tell you if you see them, not to pick them up or touch them. There's nothing you can do, and they're they're a bit contagious as well, so. You're not to touch them like, but it's a bit tragic, isn't it? I pull one there, I don't know what to do, I want to help it, but I can't. Oh, I just feel so bad. It's bloody awful. Really sad. But you're not to touch them though. Don't touch them, because they're full of disease. And it can pass it on to humans, so, you know, just have to live with it, really. So, this is the random can, Beaver Town Space Hulk. Space Hulk, you know. Usual smell. Now it's special. Washing up liquid. I'm getting notes of daffodils and shame. It smells like hammers. Oh, nah, nah, nah. It's all right, but now it's better. Luckily it was cheap from Asda, so now it's boiling. 
and we're just chilling out after we're lovely burgers. A little spot here. The wind's on and off, like it's dying, it's coming and going. But the tent's fine, that's a good tent, that like. Not bad, price 145 quid for the inner and the outer. Looks alright. Just uses a walking pole, light as a feather. About a kilo in it, kilogram. Just over a kilogram for the two. For the two parts. We've got magic carpet, you don't need the magic carpet, which is basically a footprint. But we just got one anyway. But yeah, it's good. DD super light. Oh, I'm going to turn this off because it's wind. The wind's too much. Oh, I'll tell you what it is. It's chilly when the sun goes in, when it gets behind the cloud. When the sun comes out and there's no wind, it's lovely. Problem being, it's been dead windy all night. But I'm in this mountain equipment helium quilt and it's really nice oh, i forgot my down jacket didn't i i mean lightweight down jacket i forgot so i pinched this off leanne stole it like and it's really nice it's made a big difference but i would say this is no substitute for a sleeping bag like because you um you can't really get in you know what i mean you can't get the seal with the sleeping bag that you can't uh, you can't get the seal with this that you can't sleep like so you would get cold spots you'd get cold windy bits so i don't know i don't think it would be a substitute i think it's too short as well so it's a nice addition it is uh, if you've got a if you've got a lightweight sleeping bag or if you sleep cold if like you I sleep do. cold and you want a little bit of extra warmth this would be great but not cheap is it Don't no 117 <laughs> 27, 127. 127 pound. <laughs> You'd better have just get in a nice a down sleeping bag, wouldn't you? Mm, For the same price. I wanted one. The thing is, the benefit is it packs down and now like it just packs away to nothing. It is tiny. Uh, it's a really small pack size. But no, I wouldn't I wouldn't substitute a sleeping bag for this like. Even though it's good, sitting sitting out like this, nice. It's nice and warm. Straight away I felt the benefit like because I'm sitting here shivering. So, I'm not getting paid to say this, I just thought I'd pass that on. Well, we're down at uh, low tide now. It's 10 o'clock at night. I'm not even joking. Another seabird, dead seabird. Remember, don't touch them. Don't go near them. Wow. Just don't touch them. And look, jelly weeblers, jellyfishes, dead. They're not dead like they'll come back to life when the tide comes back up. No, the will they do. There's it's dead dead, it? dead tea towels. <laughs> Can't believe there's dead tea towels. I've got a dead wrist. Aye, uh, somebody fell over on the rocks. You've got to be careful on the rocks, folks. There's loads of them, loads of little jellyfishes. There's, 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 there's loads of jelly. They will come back to life. No, the world are just lying here. Man, 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 proper dead. <laughs> not. Look, does that look alive to you? Yes, don't. You'll kill it, man. It's dead. Well, it is now because you just stood on it. Don't be so stupid. Oh, look. Right. So when we're on the beach, the just a few jellyfish and dead birds, and the uh, battery died because I have been using it a lot, not because it's cold. But look, we we'll missed the. The sunset, the sun's going down in the west. No, the hell's the sun going down? It's gone down the like the northeast, the sun, because it's obviously high this time of year. Coming up to the solstice. I don't know, we're on the east coast and the sun went down over there. It's bizarre. And the the west is oh the east is that way. So, you know, I think the sun stays higher, it stays high in the, what am I trying to say? It stays high in the summer, doesn't it? I don't know, you've been a divvy. No, it, it takes longer to go down, it doesn't always set in the west in the summer, because it stays light. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, sure, yeah. I'm sure it makes sense somewhere along the line. But yeah, we're in anyway. Ah. We're getting in. Have you had a good night? 
Yeah. Apart from? I've fallen over and nearly chopping my arm off. Can you get that light out my face? And all the dead birds on the beach. Oh, that's horrible, isn't it? If you watch Spring Watch, right, it tells you all about the, the um, there's a disease going around killing all the seabirds and it's telling you not to go near them. That's why I couldn't help that one that was stuck in the rocks before. Oh. You see, maybe it's just laying its eggs. So that's why it's like it is. Probably not like. But there's a bit of uh, grass. <laughs> that's it. We've got, grass. we've got all the rubbish bagged up. We've got all the rubbish bagged up. Tie that up, put that in. Jet boil ready for the morning. Water. Battery pack. I'm going to put the GoPro out for a night lapse. See if there's any stars. There might be, there might not be. I can't see any at the minute. But by the way, it's 11 o'clock at night. So. We'll see what happens. And we'll see you in the morning. Good. Of course, when you start filming, the wind stops blowing. Just film constantly, getting a lot of wind. Morning, campus. Heidi, hi. Bloody kind of day. It's too windy. It's too wild. We're packing up. No traces. No fire pits. And out. Far too windy. Blowing a gale. It's up at six in the morning. We're off. It's just ridiculous. That tent door took it well, didn't fail. We failed, not the tent. <laughs> just couldn't sleep like. It's too wild. So when the tide comes in, the wind comes in with it, doesn't it? So yeah, just have a look around. There's a little oyster catcher down there. Oh. Alright, we're gonna head off anyway. We're going that way. Come back if we get out the wind. Well, we're nearly back. We're just walking along this path up there and over onto the, onto the car, up to the car. So that's it. Back out again. Hopefully, out a few more times in the next few weeks. <clears throat> so we'll see you then.